Hey guys, so I am super thrilled that a lot of you guys have already taken delivery of your Model 3 Highlands and for some of you guys in the following days or weeks. From what I've heard, the experience is amazing and much better than the current Model 3s. But that unfortunately just ends there. This is all just me hearing about it because what's happening in North America is literally nada. You guys living in Europe and Asia are just so lucky because there hasn't been a single peep about it in North America ever since the original prototypes are being seen on the roads. I guess this is quite fair game because Canada and the US has had FSD beta running for some time now and you guys are left with purely just autopilot. I was initially quite shocked about it because there wasn't a single peep about it outside of North America and then all of a sudden BAM you guys get it in Asia and then in Europe and still up to this very date we have no clue when it's going to be available here. Let's just roll back a few months here and if you guys can recall the original prototypes were covered in black fabric at the front and the rear and then when the Model 3 was announced in Asia that's when the camouflage wrap was installed on the Model 3 here and just recently very recently the model 3 highland was fully uncovered for all of us to see and there has now been vehicles driving around california with a vehicle engineering sticker right on the back. What makes this quite interesting is that they've made no effort to hide that this was a Chinese made vehicle Model 3 and they still kept the original badging right on the back there which does have some Chinese character indicating that this is a Model 3 and exactly which trim it is. Another obvious sign that you can tell this is the Model 3 directly shipped from China is the front does not have the front bumper camera. Now I'm not saying that this this means the US and CAD version is going to have the front facing bumper camera but this is most likely the case because FSD beta is here. Now hear me out, nothing is for sure but I do think the delay is because of logistic reasons and most of it is because Fremont is just not ready and that brings me to the point of Tesla shipping over vehicles directly from China over to North America. With these recent engineering vehicles seen on the roads, it doesn't quite make sense, it doesn't all add up because Tesla has had much months or years to test these vehicles with the prototypes being completely covered up. So definitely the roads have already been tested across all of the US and all of Canada at this point. I would even go as far as saying that Tesla was ready to launch the Model 3 Highlands first in North America but had to delay it and launch in China just because of the logistical reasons as I've mentioned. A lot of the parts and components at the Fremont factory is just not ready yet. Although there is the point that Tesla China design team was the one that refreshed this model. Model 3 Highland so there could be the possibility of launching it there first and it does give a sign of confidence that it does ship with a lot better material, a lot better worksmanship than what it would come out originally in the Fremont factory. So in my opinion, maybe it's a good thing that it started off in Tesla China just because they are known for their quality of work there and the fact that they do want to highlight this new Highland as the refresh and as the quality vehicle, they want to make sure that the team is there to do that quality work. So let's get back on topic here and that is the fact that the base and the long range Model 3 trim is likely going to be shipped directly from Giga Shanghai over to North America just like they did for the first half of the year with Canada and the long range models. All of this could go on for another quarter or two before the full ramp up of Giga Fremont. That is when the local shipment starts taking over and this is why you notice that the Canadian versions of the Model 3s and Model Ys has slowly shifted its way back into the US market production. Of course, with Giga Shanghai shipping over these models to North America, there has to be some minor adjustments to meet regulations, and that starts off with the amber lighting reflectors. Now, if you guys don't know what that's all about, check out this image right here. It does show the US side being tested right now versus the European side, and you'll notice that there is a minor difference inside of the headlight housing. Now, this is a preference, but you guys let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. 
this and if you live in the US what are you gonna do about it anyways this shipment is going to start mainly with the base model and the long-range version of the Highlands the performance version is going to be solely built at a Giga Fremont and that's where it's going to start off at first before it goes around the world we've actually started seeing some performance model driven around California now if you guys want to know more about that and all the changes to it I will drop it in the description below and a video up top there click onto that you guys see some of these vehicles being driven around all the latest changes to it and some really really awesome stuff so call me crazy but if it does happen it's going to happen in the next couple of weeks I do believe that this is going to start shipping or have the vehicles in the United States way before 2024 so if you guys are holding out for a model 3 and you're just that close try to hold out a little bit longer because there is going to be a massive upgrade over everything now going into the details of financials you guys have seen their latest sales and earnings report and you can see the decline in everything with the model 3 so far we know about this tesla knows about this and they know the fact that people are holding back right now for the model 3 highland nobody is picking up a brand new model 3 at this very point regardless of what the incentives are there could be those that just use it for uber riding ride sharing and a bunch of other work related stuff but as for a personal vehicle there is no sane reason why why you would pick up a vehicle right before the refresh happens so yeah don't flame me for this but I am quite the opposite of other youtubers I do think that it is so much more worth it to wait it out and forget about all the other incentives and wait for it to land in the US if you guys are new to this channel and you want a straight cut no BS info make sure you guys hit subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell if you guys haven't already done so 